five trends for makeup for 2020 uh, that we've seen in the runaways, but trying to bring it down to reality and make it more wearable. So the first one is really basic, uh, the red lipstick. A uh, very pigmented red lipstick, but just making sure that that's the only thing that you are emphasizing on the makeup. Uh, maybe having a sleek uh, hair with a ponytail just to emphasize the red lipstick and always making sure that the skin is nice and fresh. So not just the bushy eyebrows that we are used to seeing on the catwalks, like the Cara Delevingne eyebrows, but the bleached eyebrows to make the skin, just look about the skin and the structure of your cheekbones. And also the architectural eyebrows, so people with a, just like, they just get rid of all the colours here and then they just make a statement with a line. The third one, would be the exaggerated lashes. Uh, so a little bit twiggy lashes, 60s, and very influenced by the 70s as well. So a lot of uh, lash, uh, mascara and lots of coats. So previously we saw uh, eyeshadows being played with different colors and textures, but this one is just more the basic smoky eye a bit grungy, just using dark colours and black and browns. It's about at the after facial glow. So before when we used to see people, uh, the no makeup look and how to make you look like you've got no makeup on but it's still putting lots of makeup on, this one is actually not wearing makeup but looking after your skin. So I think now with the rise of indie brands such as Beauty Pie and Ordinary, people are more knowledgeable about what products they can use on their skin to make it look like you don't actually need it. So using glycolic acid, retinol and vitamin C.